Wow, from the stream.tv studios in Hollywood. Hey, hey. California, hey. what is up? Empire After Show going down right here. Wow, guys, we're almost done with the show. No. It's sad. Uh, it's crying. I love it. But uh, not there just yet. We're one episode away from the finale. What's up? I'm Dylan Landon. Got Jason J. Carter hey. over here. Gabby Loren over here. And, of course, Star Session hey, over hey. here. Make sure you guys are chatting with us in the YouTube comment section and on Twitter using the hashtag EmpireAS and all our personal <laughs> handles. Be sure to follow us. So let's get right into it. Was Lucius lying or telling the truth when he said, I had the baby with Raven Simone? He, he was lying. Well, I love how it sounds like sounds like lion right now. Right. That's hilarious. So <laughs> Lucius that, was lying. Mm -hmm. Good he, 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 he was lying. And it, I felt like a, after the whole debacle was over, it was like, see, look, I saved your life. So basically, he, he took that moment to protect his family, but also turn it around into like, again, here I am, saving the world. Da, 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 da. Well, why did you think that he was lying? Because it was an opportunity to save his family. And, and I don't necessarily And even, kill himself. I don't necessarily yeah. even think he... No, I don't think he's 100%. But is this kid? We don't know. Well, I know, and they kind of left us on a little bit they, of a cliffhanger they went to with that. Flashback. And so it's kind of yeah. like... Yeah, the, the little flashback there. But it's kind of like, did it happen or did it, did it not happen? It's gross if it did, right? Well, is it that I mean, yeah, especially with the way Raven Simone oh, yeah. was looking tonight. <laughs> No. I'm, I'm sorry. Not, not, listen, YouTube are probably going to hate me, but a hot mess. I, I couldn't get a I say, I say it's gross because she's just so young. She's so much younger. Yeah, we thought she was looking him. good. I liked her look. I don't know. I thought it was clean and sophisticated. I'm so. with you, girl. What? Thanks. Wait, so that's why you think it would be gross because she's no. younger? I thought it would be yeah, gross he's because grandpa. No, Jamal is pretending to be the dad and he's the brother. Okay, that is gross too. <laughs> but maybe maybe Jamal was just trying to satiate a feeling of, of father, of, of paternal instinct he had, you know? Maybe he was going through something. But listen, I don't think it's gross to date someone older than you. Sometimes people just want a daddy. It's okay to want someone that's 20 years your senior. Speaking maybe of someone who has a daddy. <laughs> Wow. Who's, our, who's your Whoa. hubby? Yeah. Count it. Whoa. Count Whoa. it. There's a bias opinion uh, well, in this room. Well, <laughs> well, so guys, let us know what you think, whether you whether you believe Lucius fathered the child with Raven. I personally don't think that happened, and it's not Jamal's kid. It's probably just some random dude, and, and wasn't that guy Reg either. I was feeling Reg for a little. But while we're on the subject of age, was the Lion family, Cookie and Lucius, in the right for sending Camilla away? Yeah, I mean, listen... Camilla, in that whole scene, I, I, first of all, I thought casting Naomi Campbell to play Camilla, to me, was... Hilarious. Not, hilarious, not good. Um, she, she did look like a cougar, but to answer your question, Dylan, I don't think it was wrong. I, don't, I, think, I, I, think it was, I think it was wrong to send her away because I felt like she was really ride, like ride or die for Hakeem, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> for however ride or die you could be for Hakeem. But, um, and then, you know, in the scene you see Lucius offering her a new place, money... The, you know, everything she wonderful. She didn't take the money. And she did because, because she was legit. I get it, but like, if you're going to bounce anyway, and take, you're in debt. I would have took the money. Like, Is she in debt? Money. Apparently, yeah. Yes. Yeah, he she did did. his research on her, and I guess that's what happened. But I think that, I don't know, I think he sent her away prematurely because once he found out that she wasn't about the money, he should have let her stay. Right. That's my opinion. No, but she's going to inhibit Hakeem from achieving his full potential. I don't, right. Trust no. me, a lot of people would love if someone else came into the situation and was like, I, get I, out. I don't think she's going to hinder him from making the full potential. I just think um, image-wise, it's just not going to work right. out. Right. You that's know, true. I think it's just going to mess up his image. Okay. And that's why they were like, "He's she's got to go. Well, even on the show, watching the show, I mean, it, clearly, she it, it, it didn't look good at all. It was weird. It was like it was like some mom dating, like... It was kind of like kind fun. Kind of It was like fun weird. Well, that's why it worked, because before <laughs> like Cookie it. was around, you know, she fulfilled that role. But she she says she's going to come back. Yeah. So do you think we'll see Naomi Campbell slash Camilla again? Yes. Yes. And I think she's going to come after Lucius because she said she hopes he dies a miserable death. She, Maybe yeah. she's going to plot against him. Finale. She read him for yeah. filth, dude. She said, I hope you die. You're going to be miserable, you old man. She gave him like that British, you know, like whatever. I said, good day. Good right. day. You know, uh, that's good day, sir. <laughs> um, I don't think she's going to come back. I, don't I think that's Dylan, the last we've seen of Camilla. Right. And um, the way she got to the airport was by Malcolm mm. and Derek Luke's character. Now, Malcolm be all up in cookies, cookies, you know? Um, how's that going to play out? How's that going to end? Because here you are working for Lucius, and you're banging his woman. 
Um, not the most ideal scenario. Well, it's so interesting how he's very much like playing by the book and he was like, you know, that's your, when she was drunk last episode, you know, getting into the car. It's re really interesting how that like turned a little bit, but there's that chemistry that's yeah. there, right? You can't so deny that. you can't deny the chemistry. Right. So I feel like there's going to be something brewing. He's not going to get fired over it, but it's going to be some drama. Well, even look, even even looking at Lucius and Cookie, I feel I, I like first of all seeing Taraji and Derek together. They're they, they're beautiful on camera together. Their chemistry is definitely there. Agreed. And so what? I mean, he's dipping his pen in the company ink. She she wants it. Yes. I mean, you know. But what about how Lucius who is going to react? Listen, who cares how Lucius is going to react? Bang bang. Uh, oh. Or maybe well, as we saw, Derek Luke bang. I mean, Derek Luke can defend. For, for, he's not Bunky. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to find him at the river. You know, he can take care of himself. So I don't think, I feel like Malcolm's character is like, look, I got this. I can protect myself. I am I'm, I'm, I am the H-N-I-C. I feel like almost he hasn't even had any hesitation about it. He's kind of just like enjoying right. his position of power. What does Cookie get out of this? Out of their relationship with Malcolm? Yeah. yeah. Love. She the, the yeah, she satisfies what she can't have with Lucius, <laughs> I think, with this guy Malcolm. It's young love again. Well, it's also, and it's also an illusion of, of love right now because I just don't feel like, I think she wants it. She's been, you know, yearning for it with Lucius. And it's, yearning. She's, not, she's not getting it, well, you yeah. know? So it's, it's something new and fresh. Right. I, just, I don't think it'll last, but I think it'll be something fun that and we can develop. watch. It'll, it'll, hopefully it'll develop. develop. Yeah. Well, uh, if you love the relationship they're having, let us know by hitting us up. Use the hashtag EmpireAS. And now Jason has a new favorite character. Ooh. Uh, Andre's wife. Yeah, listen. Rhonda. Rhonda. Rhonda was great, people. I mean, well, here's the thing about Rhonda. And you guys can, and Star and Gabby, I was not, I was not feeling Rhonda. I feel like Rhonda was a little bit, I feel like on this show in general, some of the characters they have are just like, why? Really? Yeah. It, Empire is a fantastic show because of all the visuals and stuff, but if you get to the content of everything, there's a lot of things that are kind of wonky. Rhonda was wonky. No! But I tonight, yeah. but oh, tonight, she was afraid by the spice. Th yeah. th th she was the vanilla of my coffee, She's, right? Yes. Um, but tonight we see Rhonda really, you know, we get a little backstory, a little backstory on Rhonda that, you know, she went to college. She was there for. Um, ride or die. Ride or die. She was there for Dre's first bipolar breakdown, and she tells Lucius, listen, I don't 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 try to come for me and act like you're giving me something. Everything I've gotten in my life, I work for. I'm not some, um, you know, trust right, fund baby. silver plated, uh, yeah, gold spoon, yeah. uh, rich girl. Right. And I think she fits right into the family because she spoke right. up yes. right. when you know he was trying to manipulate and take away things from exactly. Andre's share. Right. And that's why Cookie like gave her that, that like a proven look. Right. She was like, okay. That's you my your, girl you got right your card, there. Girl. You got your, you <laughs> yeah, that's my girl right <laughs> there. That's my daughter-in-law. I love my you, boo. But the reason she was in that scenario is because Andre apparently wants to give over power of attorney means that like Rhonda will act on behalf of Andre within the company. Right. Meaning like she's gonna have all the shares and that's what made Lucius really upset. So do we see this playing out completely or is Andre gonna make his way back into the Empire Circle? Well of course. Yes. Yeah, he's gonna make his way back into the Empire Circle. But I think it's smart to have her take over for him because sometimes he doesn't make the right decisions. He doesn't take True. his medicine, he yeah. goes off the rocker. He's a and reckless. she's she's she's, <laughs> she's the ride or die chick who makes sure he's taking his medicine. She, you know, she's there for him. And also, you know, and just to touch on last week's um, after show, you know, Trey, he, fantastic performance last week. Yes. Um, he really, it was, it, was a, it was a very poignant and pivotal, 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 pivotal moment. I like that. For, no, for let's hashtag pivotal, that. Hashtag pivotal, pivotal, pivotal for um, Dre. But I do, to answer your question, I do see him coming back. But it was also very nice and very telling to see him away from the family and being right. vulnerable yeah. with um, Jennifer Hudson, who was his music musical therapist. And just having, you know, for, for, for the first couple episodes, Dre was just all, all business. Right. Now he's emotional, he's vulnerable, he's human. And I think that adds a certain sexiness to him as well. So I, I, I want to see Dre come back from the brink and really, you know, kick some ass. But do you think he'll get, get into some vocal classes? Because that uh, elevator scene last week was not that great on his vocals scene. Yeah. You know, you think he'll get into some classes no, I, and get may, better and maybe he try to take his over the empire? Lie. I mean, look, he, was, he, he could pray, pray about it with J-Hud. Right. And maybe, maybe God and will deliver a miracle. She was about to service him in another way than just psychological in that moment. And I was hoping. Yeah. <laughs> you know, at least he was casted as the only person that can't sing on the show. That's right. nice. Love Good that. to know. So I just want to say, your dress is looking mighty fine. Oh, well, thank you, it's Against the black and the yellow of the Empire. I think it's looking great. Thank you. Where did that come Good from? Good choice. Is there like an 
it's popping. Okay. It's popping. <laughs> and it's, it's more of like a pink salmon here on the it's couch. It's a coral. Oh, You're coming in like uh, Cookie making a statement. I am. Yes. <laughs> you know what? It was kind of inspired by Cookie this morning. Well, so there that's you who have you it. would be. Are you we all? Are, are we all, <laughs> Marae? Are we all? Be more like Cookie. Cookie! Um, now, next week is the last episode. And yep. this is, was a short season, 12 episodes. Normally, a lot of TV shows are like 13 episodes or 22 episodes. Now, Lee Daniels wants next year to be 22 episodes. Of course. It should be. Yes. Danny Strong thinks that's too many. So we might see something along the lines of like 16 or 18. So that's up in the air. And then when it comes back is a question also. Right now it's early 2016, but uh, I was reading an article about how, you know, audience uh, audiences they're are very, begging for you know, it. they're begging, you know, the, their attention span might be right. a little short and if they're gone for too long, we might forget about right. it, but that might not leave Hashtag enough time for the writers. Again. So guys, let us know when you want to see it come back and Fall. maybe we can affect when it does it, come back. It so come next back. episode, will be the last of this first season. How will it all end? I think, I, I, I think I know, you, you did that, that go to yeah. commercial breathe. Um, well, not I only how, it'll, how will it all end, but how will it set up for next season? Well, you know, there, we, we really, that's a great question, Dylan, but, uh, but answering that honestly, we don't know because there's so many things left in the air to, well, Olivia and Jamal and well, Lucius. Gone. I mean, but you know, the baby. And, and then there's just so many things that are. Well, what's a good storyline for season two? Like in the clip for next week, we almost, I got the vision of, okay, maybe now once, once Cookie is in the company, then there'll be an explosion. And now Cookie and Lucius are rivals. That'd be amazing. To, you know, I agree with that statement. It looks like and she was having it. Sides. Yeah, but there's a lot. Yeah. There's like guns in this next episode. Yeah. There's a good punch in it. There's also some performances going to be happening with that teaser that we were given. I feel like it's going to be a brawl for who's going to make the most money in the most. Well, it's going to be a great episode. Two hours. We got Rita Ora. Rita Ora. Gonna be on. <laughs> it's so uh, funny. People are like, who the hell is Rita Ora? <laughs> no, Rita Ora's legit. I had a uh, uh, Rock and Riley's one time in LA. It was awesome. And oh. you know what else, though? They kind of left the Vernon thing. Uh, yeah, Vernon was like a little That's weird. a loose. There's a, lot of loose there's a lot of loose ends, yeah. Gabby, that, that hopefully in and two hours next week we will get our fill. Well, right. the, well the writers creator writer and writers and creators said that next season might focus more on the backstory of the it should, like as their it family. should. And we're gonna get to that next time we're here next season on the after show. But until then, uh, send us what you would love to see next season two be all about. And we're gonna get to your fan questions right after this quick break. So hit us up in the YouTube comments and send us your questions on Twitter right now. Be back in a spin. Just in case you missed it live. In case you missed it live. Just in case you missed it live. Oh, just in case you missed it live. In case you missed it live, I'm doing something right now. <laughs> so we're all super excited. Okay. Yeah. 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 So this is dancing. So too. what would that be like a seven? <laughs> I cannot. I literally cannot. You guys have got to get it together. <laughs> don't hate the player. Don't hate the game. Hate the contract you didn't get. He's a coward. Mm -hmm. He's a giant chicken shit. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh so my gosh. Excited. It's going to be like <laughs> hurricane. Whoa. Shout out for those girls. Um, they are gagging them. Hold the phone. Hold on. Bro. Ben, the more brutal you are, the more power you have. Right. That was sexy. It was hot. It was heated. I was into it. You are going to be the most high paid hooker in the world. <laughs> Go ahead and invite your friends and everybody. Tell your mama, tell them, don't head, turn the stove off and get up on the computer so we can get <laughs> on the stream.tv. Thank you again for joining us. And until next week, bye bye. TV studios with you and the original Empire OG. After Show cast. So we're <laughs> pumped to have all the original members, the OGs, here in the studio. And but most importantly, you are here hanging out with us. So uh, let's get to some questions you asked this week on Twitter. Our first fan question comes from Jocelyn Hatcher. Thanks, Jocelyn. Do you think Anika will return to Empire sooner or later? Hashtag Empire IS 
at the Stream TV. I was missing Anika. Yeah. I really missed her this week, and she's she's a really great girl. Um, I, I I I want her back. She brings the fire, and we will see her back actually. Yeah, they she'll show, be back, but her. will she be back in the in the circle of the Empire? Oh, of course, Trust. of course. She built. We built yes. up. We had too much yeah. character development for her for us to lose her. It's too. I mean, characters like Bunky. Can go, oh, well, but she was... she's a pillar, you right, know, no, like Nika, and she's valuable to the company, she's, and she looks yeah, fantastic. She looks like, what if time. all of a sudden she's back at Empire and she's like, "But ready, I was on the inside scouting information on you, That'd be great. Lucius, because be I awesome. knew he's going to die anyway, and I'll be back." So just throwing that out <laughs> oh, there. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, so with season three. <laughs> season three. <laughs> Question number two comes from Oh, at Empire Fan Club. What up? Thank you for sending it in. How does Lucius think that Hakeem is the best Empire leader? Of the sons, it's Jamal at uh, hashtag Empire AS. So, you know, why does, you know, because he obviously has favorites. I don't know. Good good question. I don't know <laughs> that. I mean, Hakeem, every time I watch Hakeem, I think this is a bad, bad imitation of play of Kid from Kid and Play or Play from Stop Kid and Play. It. Seriously. I like his character. Why? Because it's like the epitome of. Of gangster rap, like. Of what a millennial is today. Well, right? funny about that's how everyone looks. The actor that plays Hakeem, Rashir uh, Gray, I believe. Yes. I um, he should just go by Hakeem, FYI. Yeah, Hakeem Lyon just released music like this, but he's a rapper from the Northeast. This is actually his first acting, acting role gig. ever. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, props to the kid for yeah. uh, getting a good role. And apparently, in the audition, when he was done doing his thing and he was rapping, he turned to the camera and he was like, Fox. And so, no way. That's, that's still, yeah. that's still so the, the deal, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the executives were digging that. So, guys, if you have an audition out there, just play Just up. be like, yo, you. church. Yeah. The one, church. 100. <laughs> 100. And our last fan question, and uh, keep hitting us up in the YouTube comments and comment section because we're going to get to some live questions as well. If anyone wants to open that up, I don't think we have it. Uh, Chris Hawkins, 94, what up, man? Do you see Cookie running Empire? when Lucius gets sick or if Lucius is really sick, and this is at all of us, so. Uh, I would hope so. Please yeah. let Cookie run this empire. I, I would love to see Cookie run the empire, but here's what I want to see more from Cookie. I think Cookie also needs to develop and have her own life outside of, of empire. And really, if season two is focusing on the backstories of everyone, that's good because we, I, I the, the, they all have the Empire in common, but the show is so much more effervescent and so much more interesting when they go into each person's own story and really play on that for a little bit. Because I was reading online that a lot of people feel that some of the editing on the show is a little choppy. You go from right. one scene that's this to another scene that's this, and it's really not cohesive on some, on some, um, on some points. So um, I would love to see Cookie Run Empire, but I would also love to see more like a whole cookie-centric arc. Just nothing but cookie. Nothing but cookies. We all want nothing, nothing but, cookies. but cookies. How about where did Portia go in this episode? Portia um, is eating some chicken wings from her assistant. Portia was oh, your yeah. assistant. Portia. I'm, on, I'm on the YouTube right now trying to pick up a question. Thanks to Quentin Thornwell for being here. East Blue Drew. Amani King Mason. What up? Chris Hawkins is in the chat. You guys are awesome. Keep the questions alive. Uh, Sierra Hearn. This bleeping show is life. Nice comment. Um, let's just go around the room and get our favorite songs of the week before we get out of here. Let's go uh, first. Dylan, what's I'll your start, favorite song of the week? I'll start <laughs> because Jason Derulo is back with a bang. Want to Want Me is uh, the hot new new that you gotta have. Check that one out. Do you know how it goes? Don't, don't, uh, don't, I heard it this talk morning. Talk to me, dude. No, that's not very clean. Please. Jason Derulo! Uh, <laughs> new song, favorite songs, anyone, everyone? I don't have one. You don't have one? What do you I listen to? Um, right now, I don't have a favorite song, and I'm probably going to get slapped across the face on YouTube for this, but I'm really, I pulled out all my old Coldplay albums, A Rush of Blood to the Head from Coldplay, one of the best albums ever. Warning Sign, if you're a Coldplay fan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That's what I've been listening to lately, because a lot of the new stuff, just isn't hitting for me. It's yep. not working. That's why BET thought you were not urban enough. That's okay. Yeah, <laughs> and on that note, I am leaving. <laughs> no, no, Jason, I... that's why we love you and you're perfect here at Empire Thank and you. the Thank stream. You. TV. Never leave. I won't. Well, I, won't. I have one. It's actually um, <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. Someone? Uh, well, yes, but her whole entire album is actually good. She has anthems. She's yeah. back, and her voice is just amazing. It's right. like great. I, OG I, American Idol. Yeah, so download Since it. Since you have go. Mm. No, she's got this heartbreak. It's like yeah. amazing. I'm going to go. I, I don't know how new or old it is, but I hear it on this app I have called Slacker Radio. I love it. Um, the house music app. I'm very into Deep House, and it's Ooh. called, um, it's by Philip George. 
Oh, uh, I'll uh, tell Wish you, yeah. you Were Mine. Yeah. You know it? I'm sure you yeah, know it's, it. Yeah, uh, it's like, uh, I'll tell you how oh, it goes right now. I'm going to get karaoke it's, on. It's, uh, uh, you know, my show, Ria Moore, Steve, uh, uh, Stevie Wonder, the rework. Oh, no way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I wish that. that you were mine. <laughs> yes. Na, na, na. Na, na, na. It's Send us dance. your favorite songs right now. We're going to keep that dancing here in the stream.tv studio. Jason Derulo, what up? Come on the after show. Talk dirty to me. Uh, Jesse Smollett uh, came out as gay on Ellen. No big surprise, I think. Yes. We it, called it. Yeah, yeah, it's like, you know what? It's not okay. even worth that's mentioning great. because, right. like, whatever. Right. Right. Yeah, you're gay? Okay. Yeah, great. So am I. Cool. It's the new 2015. Um, but what's even cooler, no, I don't know if it's cooler, but worth noting even more is he did sign a major record label deal Which with is Columbia. Fun. Well, yeah, oh. Columbia does all the music for Fox, so for That's Glee, huge. et cetera. So, I mean, yeah, I, I would it buy It makes the most sense. I would buy a Jesse Smollett album. Yeah. All right, Jesse, you got to support us here. Hit us up on Twitter and follow us, and we'll see you next week on the season finale. <laughs> Two hours, Empire on Fox. See Later. you next week. For more Empire After Shows, click subscribe.